So today, I'll be showing you how to add the dynamic island on any Android phone. Now, for reference, this is the dynamic island on the iPhone 14 Pro, and it's impressive to say the least. It morphs, it changes into different things. It's quite impressive if you ask me. So there's a company that's attempted to do the same thing for Android phones, and they've come up with an application called Dynamic Island. So this is a Redmi Note 11. And if you go to the Play Store, and look for an app called Dynamic Island. And select this application, this one right here. It's called Dynamic Island hyphen Dynamic Sport, and it's by a company called Jawomo, maybe something. So go ahead and install that application. It's completely free. And once installed, simply launch the application and then go through the setup process so tap on next then of course we'll have to go through a series of permissions so first is to select the apps that can use that dynamic island so mostly because we're testing i'm going to select all applications and then hit back and then next is notification access and basically you're granting the dynamic island application access to your notifications so it's able to display notifications in that dynamic island. And we're doing this because the dynamic island this time is an app and not a feature of Android. So tap on that. It should take you to notification access. Tap on dynamic island and enable. The specific user interface might be slightly different on other phones, but the process is the same. So go ahead and select I am aware of the possible risks and tap OK. And once notification access is granted, you can go back. Also, you don't have to grant notification access. In case you don't want notifications on a dynamic island, then you don't have to grant that. Next is draw on screen, basically granting that app permission to draw on your screen. So hit next. And then go to downloaded apps and select the dynamic sport application. Use dynamic sport. Confirm that you're aware of the danger. Hit OK, and then enable that as well. Then go back, and once everything is done, you can now hit Done, and then Next, you can customize the dynamic island. You can customize the settings of that dynamic island, uh, when to use it. Uh, if you want to swipe to clear the appearance, you can customize all that. And then you have a Play button in the top right corner. With this button, you can test that dynamic island. So if you tap on it to play, you can see it currently starts showing uh, glimpses of that dynamic island. So I'll hit again, notifications, which you can tap on, tap on it again. And there is your dynamic island. So now if I exit and uh, you can see I have a dynamic island at the top there, which I can tap on, it takes me back to dynamic island. When messages come through, they appear in that dynamic island from where you can touch, and that's going to open the messages. Now, as you've probably noticed, it's not the most intuitive or polished of dynamic islands because it's just an app that was created the other day to kind of counter iOS's or rather Apple's dynamic island on the iPhone. But if you want to try it out and see what it looks like on your Android phone, then that's, that's, that's how you can do it. But it's not something I recommend. It's not something useful, I have to say, but it's just a fun feature that if you want to, you can try and that's how to do it. Thanks for watching and good luck.